Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We'll work another hypothesis test using p-values with means of populations and large number of samples. So we have uh, the following problem. A study showed that the average number of kids that women had is 1.48 children. Uh, a researcher believed this number is wrong. He surveys 128 women and he finds an average of 1.39 kids with a standard deviation of 0.84. At 90% level of confidence, test this claim. Notice that there's no wording in this problem that talks about greater than, less than. All it says is a study showed that the average number of kids that women had was 1.48, and a researcher believes this number is wrong. It didn't say that the researcher thought the number was too high, or that the number was too low, or that they, it didn't say the researcher thought that they would have more or less than that. It just said that the researcher thinks the number's wrong. So he doesn't really care if the number is too high or too low, he just thinks that this number 1.48 is wrong. So that implies it's a two-tail test. We've been doing tons of problems with two-tail tests. We're going to do this one using hypothesis testing, where we use the, um, the p-values. So first of all, let's write the null hypothesis down. It's a mean value, which is the number of children. The null hypothesis is saying there's 1.48 kids, or children. But the alternate hypothesis, which has to be the opposite of this, is not equal to 1.48 kids. That's all we really know. Now, the other information, I say that's all we really know about the hypothesis. We know lots of other stuff. In order to test this, uh, he wants to go ask some people, how many kids do you have? How many kids do you have? How many kids do you have? And he actually asked a total sample size of 128 women. Uh, so we know that n is 128. Notice right there, the number of samples that were chosen is greater than 30. So that's why we're able to use a normal distribution to do this. Uh, and that's why, you know, if it were smaller than 30, we would have to use the t distribution because uh, the normal distribution isn't very accurate with, with very low number of sample sizes. All right, but in this case, we have lots of samples. The data that we got back from this was that the average number of children that these people, you know, they all answer differently, but we average the results and we get 1.39. Uh, kids. Now again, if you stop here, you would say, well, 1.39 kids is certainly different than 1.48 kids, so this guy uh, must be right. The alternate hypothesis must be right. We must reject the null hypothesis. However, it doesn't really take into account lots of other things. How far away does it have to be from this for you to consider it statistically significant? Especially when the other part of the problem is the standard deviation of these answers that we got back was 0.84 kids. That's a pretty big standard deviation when you're talking about children, number of kids that you have. So some people answered much less than this, and some people answered much more than this, and the average value is the only thing that's represented here by x-bar. All right, and 